What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another tutorial, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to use Procreate for beginners. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay. Don't look at all this. Don't look at all this yet. You gonna get there. We gotta start from the basics though. First thing you wanna do, you wanna hit this plus sign in the top right. And this part is where you can choose your canvas size. Come right here to new and create a new canvas. Most of the time when I'm um, doing my canvas size, I like to use inches. You know what I'm saying? So it won't show too much pixels. So let's go to inches and you see the DPI, I always keep your DPI on 300 resolution so you can get a high quality um, picture. And let's go to 18 by 18. And what's so dope about this, it'll tell you how many layers each size get. So if we do an 18 by 18 inch canvas size, the max layers it'll give us is 14. So if we go a little smaller, that's if you just one of those, one of those people that need a lot of layers. All you gotta do is just come back up to your uh, canvas and just resize this jump. Now if you do 15 by 15, you'll get 22 layers. But I like 18 by 18. So I'm good with 14 layers. Okay, cool. Let's go to create. Got our canvas size. Then it's gonna take you to this little tab right here. You wanna come over here, you wanna click your brush. And every time I um, start on a, a new picture, I come up to sketches, the pencil brush. And my favorite brush to start out with is the 6B pencil. And that give me like a realistic, you know, texture for real. Right here is your opacity. I like to bring that down. This is the size of your brush right here. So if you wanna make your brush bigger, you drag it up. You wanna make your, your brush very small, you just drag that down. You know what I'm saying? Click this circle in the top right corner and that's your color wheel. So you get to choose the color you wanna use. You know what I'm saying? So most of the time when I'm starting out with a sketch, I start out with like a neon color, like any bright color, you know what I'm saying? So let's start out with something like this, like boom. And then hit your brush again. Come out here, you know what I'm saying? It's to work on your little sketch. You know what I'm saying? Just say if we was drawing this thing out like that or something, just drawing anything. I mean, and you want to erase, just say, I don't like none of this I did. All you got to do is hit this back arrow. Just keep tapping it. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to take you back to the beginning. Another thing you want to do too is click your brush. Let's click our 6B pencil. And you can go inside your brush and you can make custom tweaks to it. You know what I'm saying? Move your stabilizer up if you want um, the program to help you make crispier lines without the jitters. You move this one up. You know what I'm saying? So just play around with the stabilizer anytime you're trying to get some clean lines. All right, hit done. Let me, um, I'm going to skip something real quick just so we can have something, something to start out with. Let's, uh, let's make us a little character or something. Let's create us a little... Create us a little character real quick, hey. All right, we got our sketch, right? What you want to do is you click this end button right here, and you can bring the opacity down if you want to, like, like that, okay. You click this plus button to create a new layer. Now I'm finna select the color black. Anytime you wanna get true black, you double tap inside there. 
And if you want to get true white while you got it moved over here, you double tap and it'll move it straight to the true white. So keep that in mind. When you go to black, you double tap and it's going to move you to the true black. And then when you um, bring it up to the white, you double tap, it'll move you to the true white. So let's start out with the uh, black. Okay. The favorite pen I like to use, I mean the favorite brush I like to use when it comes to doing finalizing line work, I like to use the um, technical pen. And that's in your inking brushes. So the technical pen, move this up. Okay, to zoom in, you take your two fingers like this and you spread them out like this. Go like that. That's how you zoom in. And then you, you bring them closer to uh, zoom out. So zooming in. And then we just going to make our line super clean. And I'm going to show you my brush settings for my technical pen. Just like I told you, I clicked inside. Um, I go to my stabilizer, and my stabilizer is on 59%, so it'll help me make those crispy lines, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's bring this over like that. Bring this up. Drag this uh, color black from right there, and you drop it in the closed area, and it'll fill it in automatically for you. You know what I'm saying? And let's just finish our lady, let's finish our character. Yeah, V. Alright, bring this over. Bring this over. And I'm gonna have a part two um for the tutorials for beginners. I'm gonna just do a whole series for y'all because it's a lot I can show y'all about this program for real. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of Procreate, if you see this video, sponsor me. Please, I done made your program cool. Let's see, put this on like this. And um, close this off like that. Still make sure you close your lines. Also, the paint bucket too won't have no problem. You know what I'm saying? And I know my character ugly, bro. Don't tell me. Like, I'm just trying to teach y'all how to use this program. So don't judge me. Please. We're going to add him a beard. Let's, let's do him a, um, let's do him a beard, man. Beard game. Okay. Yeah. That's all he was missing. Beard. Yeah, yeah. Put him a little beard on there. Do a little ear like this. Come to this side. Close this off like that. Make this little ear come up like this. All right, now we gotta do these little eyebrows. Know what I'm saying? We got a little, we got a little solid character though. He came out, he came out flat though at the same time. And boom, we got our little character. This little character we starting with. You feel me? Now just say. Okay, you want to delete the sketch layer. All you got to do is slide it to the left and hit delete. You want to move this picture to the center. You hit this uh this little tool right here. What you call it? The, the pointer tool, the selection tool. And you move this right here. You just drag it. Okay. Now you got, you see the four, the four different options we got. We got freeform, we got uniform, we got distort, we got warp. So look, you want to warp and I'm going to show you what all of them do. This is what warp do where you can just pinch and shape it how you want to shape it. You know what I'm saying? You can just play around with it with warp. See if you like it. And then just say, if you don't like it, get out of it 
and hit that back arrow and it'll switch it back how you had it so let's move this right here real quick and then uh distort distort or make it skinnier you know make it wider go back out and let's uh go to freeform freeform it pretty much work like distort to me but yeah that's what them brushes do man i need to show y'all how to color this first thing you want to do create a copy of your line work by duplicating it and i always keep a version of the, the line work by itself so what we're gonna do we're gonna lock this top layer so we don't make a mistake and color on top of it or nothing come over here to our color wheel find me a nice little color to start with for the skin tone and drag and drop you feel me? the drag and drop feel that in and when i'm doing like faces i always put my eyes and my lips on a totally separate layer so let's copy the um line work again let's unlock the second one and come right here and let's put like uh, some lip color and the eye color in so drag and drop that bring this up right here drag and drop that like that and then we're gonna find some color the eyes bam now what i do for the shading i create a layer by itself add a new layer and put it in between like the eyes layer the color eye layer and the skin layer i put it in between those two and i hold my finger on the skin tone layer so i can have it at the top wheel come down here and try to find a nice little shadow for it okay cool find me a little shadow still on my technical pen and all you do is you draw where you want the shadows at and you make sure you close your line off though still so i came back to close that line off and i just fill it in simple as that you know what i'm saying because you got to remember this is a layer by itself so if i don't close it off it'll just paint over the whole picture so Fill that in. Come back, make sure I'm closing it off. And look, man. Now just say, wait, hold up, let me add this. Add it right there like that. Now just say I wanted to tweak that um shadow layer. And then I'm gonna play with these levels, you feel me? Until I get it to my liking. And I like that right there. And we gonna get out of it like that another thing too if you own a layer that you don't want to color outside of and you just want to stay inside of the borders i'm gonna tell you what you do we're gonna go to this um eye layer the, the layer we got the um eyes and the lips on we're gonna click it and we're gonna go to select now what what that did right there it made sure it made a border for us so we don't color outside of the lines so let me come over here to um, this noise brush. I like to use this noise brush. And you see how it's not letting me go outside my lines? You see what I'm saying? It's keeping us inside of the little borders, man. So make my brush a little darker. So we can get a little better, a little fade. Something like that. 
and just say if I want to blur this, I want to make it look a little smoother. We can just go to our effect. Let's go back to the magic one and let's go to um, Gaussian blur. And let's slide it up a little bit. Oh, uh, you know what? I messed up. I didn't put that shadow on its own layer. So we ain't going to use that. We just going to go back out of that. If I were to put that that uh, shadow I did on his own layer, which I can go back and do, let's just hit the back backspace. Let's hit backspace. Create a new layer by hitting the plus. And since we got it selected, since we got the eyes selected and the lips selected, even when we create new layers, it's not gonna let us go outside of that area. So we good. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and do my little shading. Like right there, and then I'm gonna come back to my um, Magic One Two Gaussian Blur, and we're gonna move this up by dragging, by holding down on our stream, and sliding to the right. That's all you do. And the more you slide to the right, the more it give you that F effect. Okay, now we can we can toggle out of that. You know what I'm saying? Got our little character looking bright. Um, I'm going to create a selection around the line work. And I'm going to show y'all why I'm doing that. We're going to create a layer right above the everything. So, let me go to the color brown real quick. Come down here to my stone wall brush. And we're going to just give him a little eye fit like this. Because you can't start the rain. You can't start the rain. You know what I'm saying? Then we're going to come down here to the light pen. We're going to bring this up a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. There you have it, man. There you have it. You feel me? Character. All right, look. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, um, I wanna go above and beyond. So let's go back to our line work. Select. Hit select so it won't let us color outside the line work. Let's go to the top layer and let's um, make a dark color real quick. And let me um. Let me go to this clay brush. Okay, we on our clay brush. Uh-oh, I forgot to make the selection. Okay, made the selection so it don't let us color outside the area. We on our clay brush. And, gonna do this like this. Now, since we did that, let's make it a little brighter right here. You feel me? Make our brush a little smaller while we still on the clay brush. And we gonna go oh, just like this. you guys you feel me if you want to um change the background color all you got to do select the background and, and switch the color for you boom and this is our first how to use procreate for beginners i will have a part two because it's all it's so much i need to touch on man thank you guys for watching Make sure you stay tuned because more heat is coming real soon and I'm out this thing.